Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to provide explicit permission to specific tables to a user in database of SQL Server. We'll be using two methods to do that. One is SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface, and other is uh, using T-SQL script. So uh, the scenario behind this um, particular video is that um, you have a user and you don't want that user to access all the tables in the database. You wanted specific tables. Uh, you wanted to provide specific permissions to specific user and specific tables. It doesn't have to be tables. Any uh, You can provide uh, explicit permission to uh, uh, tables, views, uh, store procedure. And I'll cover store procedure and uh, views in a separate demo. But in this particular video, we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, provide specific tables uh, to a uh, user in database of SQL Server. So let's go ahead and do that. This is my SQL Server. Now I'm connected with Management Studio. And um, this is the database that I want. Uh, this database has uh, uh, four tables, five tables, and I want this particular one user that is that has permission to uh, uh, to this database, but hasn't provided permission to the object of the objects of the database. So I want that user just to go ahead and have select permission on this particular customer, or I can go ahead and give control permissions. All the permission select update that user can do in this only this table it will not uh, he won't have permission to touch these particular tables so this is what we're going to ac accomplish that so we're gonna go ahead and go in the security that particular user is already uh, basically added uh, to the database however uh, that user doesn't have permission um, uh, to go and uh, uh, look at the objects of this particular database. So this is the user that uh, we're going to give explicit permission to a table. So we're going to go ahead, double click on that user. And um, as you can see, general right here. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and click on securables. Uh, securable is the tab that you use when you wanted to uh, provide uh, specific uh, object permissions uh, to a specific user. So we're going to go ahead and click on securable. Right now, that particular user have just one uh, customer table right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another table um, and give select permission to that user. So you click on search and you click on specific objects. Once you clicked on specific objects, it will give you option to select object, whether it's a table, store procedure, view. So we're going to go ahead and click on object view and we're concerned about just giving access to the table so we're going to click on tables okay and when we click on browse it's going to browse all the tables in the database so, so that we can go ahead and select the table that we wanted to give permission to so we're going to go ahead and click browse and as you can see all the tables are here so we're going to add this customer underscore two table uh, he already have access basically uh, to one table we're gonna go ahead and give him access to another table and we don't want that user to have access to three four and five so we're gonna go ahead and click OK click OK and uh, this is added in the list right here in order to give him certain permission you need to click on that user and up here you will see that um, uh, you know these are the permissions control delete uh, if you give delete that that person can go ahead and delete the data in that particular table and may it may be able to delete the table so we're gonna go ahead and just select permission give select permission to that um, uh, user so a particular user can just go ahead and select the data and view the data nothing else so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and that's how basically you do um, give permission to the uh, database using SQL Server Management Studio explicit permissions on a table. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, go back to the scurable. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove uh, this permission of, for, for this particular um, table. Or we're going to go ahead and use our script to add more. Uh, tables in his view so that he can go ahead and look at three tables rather than just two so we're gonna go ahead and and uh, cancel this and uh, I'm going to pull up my script so right here is my script It's very simple as you can see grant select access on DBO customers 
I want to do he already have the customer access I'm, I'm going to do customer 3 and I'm going to go ahead and do it on 4 as well so I'm going to go ahead and select this and say 4 and let's make sure that these tables do exist uh, basically this is underscore 2 underscore 2 and this is this is underscore 3 and 4 I wanted to do so I'm going to go ahead and run this this will grant select permission on particular table 4 and 3 and that person will not have permission to 5 so we're gonna go ahead and execute that command um, completed successfully let's go and take a look if that is added as you can see 3 and 4 are added and if you look at 4 it has select permission so basically this is how you give explicit permission um, to uh, to to the table to specific tables uh, to a user in a database of SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio and using T SQL script and I hope this video helps